Hello rail fans, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft locomotive tutorial. Today, by request, we're going to be building Heston and Galena Creek number 2, a 260 Porter steam locomotive. So let's get right into the build here. Now in real life, this is a narrow gauge locomotive operating on a 3 foot gauge but I'm gonna build it at our standard size. One, it will look ridiculous if we move the rails any closer together. And two, I don't wanna sacrifice any details. So we're gonna take cobbled deep slate stair, one in the middle like this, then wrap it around the corner and one back, then around the corner out this way. We'll do the same thing on this side, around the corner, one back, and then around the corner facing this way. We'll put one upside down to fill that middle behind there, then on the front middle a furnace like this, and behind it we're going to put a row of five polished deep slate walls coming across. Next we're going to come behind here, we're going to skip one block backwards from this, then we need to get a block of netherite on each rail for the pilot wheels with an end rod axle. Then we'll put a stone button on the outside of each wheel. Then we're gonna stack two polished deep slate slabs in the middle above the end rod, one coming forward on the upper hip box, and two on each side, like that. Then we're gonna put three polished black stone across the middle behind it, and then two green concrete on each side like this, for the main pistons. Then we'll put an item frame with a polished blackstone block on the front of each piston here. Then we'll swing back around behind here. We're actually going to extend the piston down by one more block, fill in the rest of this with polished blackstone. Put a dark prismarine slab on the top middle of each of the pistons. Then skip one block down on bottom behind this, and we're going to make a row of temporary blocks coming back. That's nine blocks long here. Then we'll take polished blackstone stairs, upside down facing this way here and here. Then we have to skip forward to the third block out, and another one on each side facing this way. Then we have to skip forward to the third block out again more stairs facing that way. Then we'll turn around and face them this way here and here, here and here, and here and here for the bottom of the driving wheels. Now we can go ahead and remove this temporary row up the middle. Then we'll complete off our wheel pattern with right side up stairs facing this way on this sides of all the wheels and facing this way on the other side. So we have these nice rounded shapes for the driving wheels. Then up here on the back middle two, we'll put polished blackstone blocks and a polished deep slate wall on either side. Next we're going to come between these driving wheels and we're going to put a row of sideways observers on the top layer in between them here right to the back of the last driving wheel. And here I was having some trouble getting this one to place the direction I wanted it to. I ended up having to put the temporary block underneath it just to place it and delete that temporary block. So it should look like that. Now we're going to take a smooth stone slab off the bottom of that piston and coming back to be the driving rod. And bring a row back until you're on the first half of that last wheel. Then we'll come over and do the other side. So same thing, a row coming off the bottom of the piston all the way till you're on the first block of the last driving wheel. Then we're going to come up here Put a slab here and here, then we're going to crouch and we're going to put three iron trap doors 
above that on each side. Next we'll take green carpet and we'll put it on the front and back on the tops of each of these pistons. Then we're going to come to the back of this here with polish black stone block. And above this back observer in the middle we're going to put two blocks and then an upside down forward facing polished black stone stair like that. Then we're going to put two polished black stone above the two that are already here in the middle. So two right there, then upside down polished black stone stairs facing outward on each side, then two right side up stairs here, two facing this way on this side, and two more blocks in the middle. And actually I'm going to change these pistons so they match the rest of the locomotive. So knock out the piston and replace it with dark prismarine. Item frame on front with a polished black stone block. Same thing over here, knock out these three. Replace them with dark prismarine. Item frame on front, polished black stone block. Then we're going to come around back here with an oak wood stair. Upside down stair here, right side up one above it. Same thing on this side fill the middle with oak wood planks. Then two upside down dark prismarine stairs coming back on each side and dark prismarine blocks in the middle and right side up stairs above them. Then an upside down oak stair here, a block in the middle, upside down stair here, right side up here, right side up here, a block in the middle. Then continue this pattern coming back by two with dark prismarine. Then a single upside down oak stair, upside down on both sides, oak planks in the middle, right side upstairs on each of the top outside. Then another two of dark prismarine. this very end we go back to oak. Now we're going to come on the side of this second oak strip here. Right here we're going to place a deep slate brick wall, then a block of chiseled deep slate, and on top of that a wither skeleton skull. Then we'll swing down under, extend this wall down by one and over to the middle of the boiler on bottom. On the front of it, right here, we put a brewing stand. Then coming off the back of this bottom wall, we're going to put an iron trap door. I accidentally fell off here. And if you come back here, stand on this driving rod and crouch and start putting iron trap doors coming back. I'm going to get another one on this back here. I was having trouble getting it placed right. There we go. Then we'll put some black carpet on top of these. Then come up here and crouch and put two more on the front like this. We won't be able to put carpet on it because of the driving rods underneath the trap doors on the front here. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to come underneath. And in the bottom middle we'll put an oak slab here, two dark prismarine slabs. We're going to knock out this wall in the middle and put dark prismarine on the front and oak in this middle just so there's not as much space between that boiler. There, now it's all fixed up. Then we're going to come on the side of this here 
with an iron trapdoor. We need to get it at the bottom of the boiler height and we'll start bringing that all the way forward. Right up until it's right there. Now the height of this because of the driving rod isn't going to allow for the black carpet either. So instead of trying to rebuild all this, I'm just going to take the black carpet off this side here. Now we're going to come on the very top of the front here, in the middle, on the second block back. We're going to take polished black stone block, two of them, actually three, and a block of coal on top. Then we're going to take cobwebs and we're going to kind of step them up and back and over. No real rhyme or reason to this, just so it looks good to be the smoke coming out of the smokestack here. Since it's too small to use a campfire. And just stack it up and around and however you want your smoke to be, however much smoke you want coming out of it. Skip one block back from the smokestack on the top here and a column of two dark prismary. And we're going to put a wither skeleton skull on top. Skip another block back, put a bell. Then back here, we're going to take polished black stone stairs outward facing, and we're going to make this C shape. In the middle, two dark prismarines stacked up, a brewing stand on top of that. And this is tricky because of the cobwebs catching you up, but we got to get down so we can stand on this and crouch. And we'll put a skeleton skull on top of that brewing stand. Then, we'll come behind it here. And a block of coal stacked up too high. Two blocks back from that one. Now we're gonna come behind the boiler here, where that polished black stone is, and we're gonna make a row that's five wide of dark prismary. And we're gonna end up extending this back until it ends up being five by five to be the base of the cab here. Then we'll come underneath. And on the bottom here, we're going to fill in the whole bottom middle three of it, going all the way back. Just like that. Then we're going to take gray shulker boxes and put three of them sideways in the middle of the bottom on each side like this because there's these little tank looking things. Next we're going to come on top of this and put a full row of dark prismarine blocks coming lengthwise down each side. Just like that. Then we'll start working on the inside of this cab a little bit here. We're going to knock out this front middle block, put nether brick in there, and light it on fire. Then an upside down polished black stone stair on either side, right side up above that. Then we'll put a polished black stone block over the top of this at the back of the firebox here. Then we can take a trap door and close it so the firebox has a door. Next we'll come around to the front of the cab here. And we'll stack two dark prismarine on each of the front corners. So here, and same thing over here. Then we'll turn down to this back end here, and we'll put one dark prismarine block on each of these sides, leaving the middle open. Then we'll stack a column of two on each of the back corners. Then two warp fences here and here and two warp fences coming up the middle of this side window on each side, just like that. Now on this engineer side, a smooth stone block with some levers on it here. Then we'll turn around and put jungle wood stairs for some seats. We'll put a dark prismarine in this top middle, an item frame on that with a compass for a gauge, then another brick fence right here and right there. And we'll put a grindstone on top of that fence on the left there. 
Then, up here, on the top outside edge, we're going to run a row of dark prismarine slabs from the front and sticking one block past the back of the cap here. Just like that. Then we fill in the rest of the middle three of this cab roof with dark prismarine blocks. So it looks like that. Next we'll work on the coupler and all the piping. So take a dark oak stair, turn around, get it stacked to that second block, and another one going the other way, delete the one on bottom. Then we're going to put two sideways dark oak fence gates on either side of this coupler. And then coming off this front side, we're going to put a row of three nether brick fences on both sides like this. Next, we're going to come up on the side of this boiler here, and we're going to take out a warped fence gate. And starting on the front right here, a warped fence gate going sideways, the first one goes lower, the rest go on the top. Then we'll come over to the other side here. On this side, starting at the cab here, we're just going to come forward with a row of sideways warped fence gates until it's right there. Then we'll put two more on the front of this other side over here, just like that. Then on this front middle, we need to get a block of glowstone on top, one block forward from the boiler like that. Then behind it, we'll put a polished black stone stair. Then we're gonna take dark oak trap doors and we're going to close it on all sides of this glowstone block so it looks like the headlights actually encased. Then we'll put an item frame on this bottom middle like that and a polished black stone block on the item frame. Then we're going to take nether brick fence. We're going to come two over, one down, and one forward. Same thing on this side. Two out, one down, one forward because there's these little support bars up there. Now we need to make a banner here. So go ahead and come into a loom. We're going to use a green banner and a white die. Horizontal on top. Horizontal on bottom. And a diagonal. Then switch to green die. Surround that with a green border for our number two. We'll come up here. And we're going to put this on the side of the cab, right in the middle here. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. And then save this banner in your inventory, because we will need it later. Now we'll do the tender. So coming off this coupler, a polished deep slate block, and two polished deep slate walls coming out to each side. Just like that. Then we're going to take a polished deep slate slab on this outside edge, put one here on the upper hitbox, one here. Above the front, a row of five polished deep slate blocks. Then an upside down polished deep slate stair above this slab facing outward on each side for a little step ladder. Then fill in this middle with polished deep slate blocks. Then, on the next block down on the rails, netherite on each rail for our wheels with an end rod axle. Then, we're going to put deep slate tile stairs upside down in a back-to-back T-shaped pattern that's five blocks wide. And then another set of netherite wheels over here with an end rod axle. Then on the outside, we'll put a hopper in front of each wheel. Same thing over here. Then we'll go ahead and fill in underneath here with deep slate polished blocks and we'll bring the middle three down past this truck. We're going to come two rows past the truck here. Then we'll do our next set of wheels. So netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. 
then deep slate tile stairs upside down in a back-to-back t-shape pattern that's five blocks wide coming out to each side of the rails here another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle then go ahead and put a hopper on the sides of each of the wheels here then we'll come above this truck and we'll fill in the middle three lengthwise above it with polished deep slate and we'll come one row past the wheels here then we'll put a polished deep slate slab on the upper hitbox here and on this side then behind this a block in the middle and two polished deep slate walls on either side we're gonna put item frames on each corner then five polished deep slate across this end an upside down stair here and here then we'll go ahead and fill in this top layer on the middle three with polished deep slate down to the other end here then on the outside edge of this we're going to make a row of dark prismarine except it has to start one block behind where those stairs are. We'll bring this down here. We'll stop right there two blocks before the end, come across to the other side, and then back up to the front over here. So it looks like this. Then we'll take dark prismarine stairs, and we're gonna put them on top of this, but so they're facing this way. Wrap around the corner right here, around this corner back up to the front now take out a block of glowstone come around back here and put one in each of these item frames then we're gonna put a ladder on the back right here then there's a little tank back in here so a 3 by 3 of polished deep slate and then three across, then stairs facing that way and that way so it looks rounded. And sometimes there's another smaller tank above it, so three gray shulker boxes on top. Then we're going to take out smooth basalt for our fuel here. And we're just going to stack it in an uneven pattern so it looks kind of like a realistic pile here. Whatever looks good to you, there's no real science to this just so it doesn't look like an uneven block. Then we're gonna surround the front end on the front of this tender with light gray carpet here. Then we'll come down to the back here. We're just gonna take that ladder off so we can fill all this with carpet. Take our banner from earlier and put it in the back middle like that. Come on the side here, above the back of this truck, knock out the dark prismarine on bottom and replace it with smooth quartz, and we'll make that four blocks long. I wasn't supposed to knock out the stair on top. So I'm going to put that stair back real quick. Then we'll do the same thing down here on this side. Start above the back of this truck, go four back, replace it with smooth quartz. Then we'll take dark prismarine slabs underneath here and run a full row of slabs going end to end. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So underneath here, a full row of dark prismarine slabs going end to end. And now we could be done here because the tender's completed, but since this is so small, I figured I'd throw in an added bonus and show you how to make their little open air passenger cars that they carry tourists around in. So take out a dark oak stair for a coupler, get it stacked up to the second block here. And 
and I just realized I was making it too high, so delete the top one and the bottom one. Another stair going that way. Underneath it, dark oak fence gates for an airline here. And then actually, we need to bring that airline all the way down to the wheels so it looks realistic. And then we have to finish up over here because I just realized I forgot to do it. We're going to grab an iron trap door here. And we're going to put three right here. And then three over here so the firemen can actually walk across and get the fuel to put in this cap here. Next, take some iron bars, put two here on the back of the cab and two here. Now we'll move down back here. We're gonna put polished deep slate coming off this coupler, going back up the middle by two blocks here. Underneath it, we'll put two dark oak fence gates to continue this airline. Then on the next block down in front of it, netherite on each rail for our wheels with an end rod axle. Then upside down deep slate tile stairs in a back to back T shaped pattern that's five blocks wide to each side of the rails. Then another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then we're going to grab a hopper real quick here. We'll put a hopper on the outsides in front of each wheel on both sides of the truck. Then we'll come up here with polished deep slate. We'll put one above this end rod here and one on each side. Then we'll extend this down. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then under the end of this last one, that's where we're going to put our next set of wheels. So netherite on each rail here and an end rod axle. And just to make it easier to build, I'm going to knock out some of this temporarily. front of this wheel set upside down deep slate tile stairs coming five across the rails and a back-to-back t-shape -back pattern here and another set of netherite wheels here with an end rod axle then hoppers on the sides of the truck in front of each wheel on both sides then we can go ahead and bring our polished deep slate back fill in this top middle three down the length of the car here. Just like that. Now on the rear end of this here, still using polished deep slate, we're going to extend it out by two and one on each side like that. Come down to this end here one on each side here and here. Then two deep slate tile walls coming off to each side on the end like this. Then a row of five deep slate tile walls across the front end. We'll come down here, two deep slate tile walls coming off on each side like this, and then a row of five above it. Then we'll take a dark oak stair for a coupler, get it stacked to that second block in the middle. Put a row of dark oak fence gates underneath for the airline. Now we'll come to this top layer and fill in the top middle three on this layer with polished deep slate. Going all the way down to the other end here. Then on this top outside edge, a row of upside down outward facing polished deep slate stairs end to end on both sides. 
Then there's a running board along the side of the car. So we're gonna take out a crimson slab, put it right here, and we're gonna run it all the way lengthwise on both sides of the car. Now we're gonna come down to the back here and we're gonna take out crimson planks. And on this third block in from the end, we're gonna put a row of five coming across. Just like that. We'll do the same thing on the front, so on the third block in, five crimson planks. Then a two by two on each side, leaving a gap in the middle. Same thing back here, a two by two on each side, gap in the middle for a window. Then starting from the front here, we're going to skip a block, put a crimson plank on each side. And we're going to keep going up both sides like that, putting one every other block until we reach this back here. Then above those, we're going to put two crimson fences coming up on each of the blocks. Then. Across each of these rows, we'll put three crimson stairs to be the actual seats, all the way to the back here. Then across the top of this back, five polished deep slate blocks, and we're going to extend that down five wide until it meets the front. Then on the end of this, we'll put five upside down forward facing crimson stairs across it. Come down to this end, and five upside down backward facing crimson stairs here. Then on this outside edge, we're going to put right side up crimson stairs coming all the way down both sides. Now take out andesite slabs. Starting from the end, we're going to bring it across five wide on top here, and we're going to bring that all the way down to the other end. Then on the front of this here, we're going to put five iron bars across this very front middle. And we'll do the same thing on this end. So five iron bars right here. Then across this, five light gray carpet. And we'll come in between all these rows of seats with five light gray carpet. Coming all the way to the front of the car like this. And then five on the front right here. Then you can make as many cars as you want here. I'm only making one. But for the back car, we put a lantern here and here to mark the end of the train. And there we have it, folks. We've completed our little 260 steam engine. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.